welcome to week one of 100 Healthy Habits, where for 100 days, I will follow the healthy habits I established in my last challenges, as well as additional habits that I will pull at random each day for a total of 100 additional new healthy habits. The habits I'll be following are waking up early, taking vitamins, eating healthy for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, working out, staying hydrated, meditating, reading, and one randomly selected habit. You can watch my last video if you want to know more about how and why I designed this challenge, but most importantly, this challenge is about consistency, not perfection. So let's get going. So during my meditation just now, I kind of realized a little something. You guys know, or if you don't know, now I will tell you, I am a model and an actress. And so being in that industry, it is basically a constant uphill battle working against like self-doubt and imposter syndrome and trying to figure out how to work past that. I'm realizing that doubt, that's always going to be there when you're trying to forge a path forward, a new path forward. If you're just stagnant, there's not gonna be any doubt because you're used to it. Basically, you're in your comfort zone. When you're getting outside your comfort zone, of course, you're gonna be doubtful because it's new, it's not inside your comfort zone. In addition to that, I have to think about why is it that I'm doubtful? or what am I scared of? And I think every single time it comes down to, oh, I've reached this like new high in my career, basically scared that I will like fall backwards within progress. And I have to just think and remind myself where I currently am is ahead of where I was this time last year. And there's no way I'm gonna be in the same place I am now next year. Basically, there's no way that I'm not going to have improved within a year. It's a reassuring thought for me. The doubt is a sign that you're pushing yourself to do bigger things. Don't doubt that you're going to make progress in your life because there has not been a single year where you are in the exact same position you were the year before. If you feel like you are, you're not, you, you grew as a human. All right, I am here to tell you guys about this week's sponsor, Halara. Yes, it is that active wear that you have seen all over Instagram, especially specifically the dress. You know the dress that I'm talking about, the active wear dress with the pockets on the side. Love it, I finally got to try them. Now, I actually did already do a full try on haul of this, you can check that out here, but this is just sort of gonna show it all off, show off the active wear so you can take a look. I will tag everything in the caption below, uh, links and a discount code, so definitely check that out, but overall, Review, I will just save you the time right now. Love. Really, really enjoyed every single piece that I got from them. And I even got a couple pieces that are more just everyday wear rather than strictly athletic or athleisure wear. So I'm actually already wearing some right now. So these are their classic leggings. They have this amazing crisscross detail on them, which I absolutely love. You'll see it through so many of these pieces and I love the detail. It really feels like it pulls in everything right at the right spot. It also has pockets, which absolutely love the pockets. And then up top, I have this great athletic sports bra long sleeve. So this is interesting because it's definitely one that you could wear more casually, but then wear it to the gym. I did get to try the dress. I got the dress in both blue and black. Love both of them. I just wanted to see how they looked in different colors, but they both have the pockets, the built-in shorts underneath the skirt, along with the pocket on both sides. Both the blue and the black have that. The fabric is so soft. Both of them absolutely loved them. 10 out of 10, can't recommend enough. In addition to that, I then also got a third dress. It's practically the same, but it's technically a different style. The biggest difference is the texture of the fabric. This one is ribbed. However, it still has the built-in shorts underneath and the pockets on either side. Now, in addition to that, I also tried this adorable skirt. Now, this is totally more of a regular everyday skirt, definitely not the athletic athleisure wear skirt. So cute. Then I also got this black top, just a classic, slightly cropped black tank top, really great support built in. Then I also got these pants. They're flare leggings with cargo pockets on the side, but the pockets are real. Thank goodness they could fit so much. And this fabric is so stretchy and comfortable. It is also the athletic, athleisure feel. So very, very comfortable. Then I got one of their skirts. Absolutely love this skirt. It is so cute. It's a little black one. 
It also has the crisscrossing detail along the waist, which feels so good. It really just feels like it makes the skirt fit perfectly. It then has the built-in shorts underneath with the pockets on either side. Then I also got this pair of leggings, these purple leggings. These do not have pockets. However, it does have the crisscross detail and it, this one's a little bit different because it is slightly asymmetrical and in two different shades of the purple. I also got this adorable cropped cap sleeve. It also has a little bit of that crisscross detailing right along the bottom, but this one is again really comfortable and really cute. So that is everything. Again, if you want more in-depth review, definitely go and check out the video that I linked earlier. It's been an absolute joy to partner with Halara. They have been amazing. I linked everything below. Check them out. Use my discount code. And with that, let's get going with the rest of the video. Time to pick today's. Oh, buy one new home decor. Don't mind if I do. It's late. I have a flight tomorrow to San Francisco for a photo shoot that I still need to pack for. And it is a very early flight and I should probably like already be getting ready for bed, but I haven't even started packing. So there's that. I was also planning on trying to get to the gym before going to bed tonight. And I don't think that's gonna happen because it is almost 10. It is past 10 PM and I still need to pack. And I don't think I should go to the gym after that because that's just, that's way too late. I'll try to make up for it when I get there. <sighs> I need to pack. I always put it off. I hate packing, but here we are. I hate packing. Oh, I hate packing. Well, somehow, magically, I got packed. We got the backpack, the purse, and the giant suitcase. Even though I'm only going to be gone from Thursday to Sunday, but uh, what can I say? We overpack. <laughs> So I'm gonna do a final look over of everything, um, but then I think it's time to go to bed because I have to get up super freaking early tomorrow in order to get to the airport on time. Oh, that's way too bright. I am so tired. Let's go to the airport. landed in San Francisco. Easy peasy. And when I walked up to the luggage uh, baggage claim, my bag was literally right there. Like I didn't even have to wait. I made it. I am here in my hotel room in San Francisco. It has honestly been a super seamless trip. No problems. But I'm staying at the King George Hotel, which is right off of Union Square. I've never stayed here before, but it's kind of cool. It's like all England themed. So we have the main room. Hello. Ooh, there I am. <laughs> we got the closet and the bathroom. <laughs> All right, so I just finished filming a self-tape for an audition in the hotel room because that's how we do. But I have the bag of the 100 healthy habits here because of course I'm going to be continuing. So why don't we dig around? I might have to pull until I get one that I can do while traveling. Okay, this one I can do while traveling. Affirmations. So not right now at the moment, I'm gonna do it before I go to bed. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to practice some affirmations get me ready and in the mood and owning myself for the photo shoot tomorrow but okay that right there is the task the healthy habit for the day 
But on top of that, I am now going to go to the gym because we're also going to keep doing that. So let's go. Can I just point out the dedication to making a self-tape happen? Standing here with that background, with the natural light, having to prop my phone up right here to get the self-tape. But you know what? We did it. We got it in. Lighting is like horrible, so you can't really see, but this is the outfit for dinner. Got the cute little kitten heels. This is the look. wonderful night out. It is late and I'm still in New York time. So it's three hours later to me, like body clock wise. And I don't feel it. Like it is 11 o'clock, which means it should feel like 2 a.m. to me right now. And I don't feel it. So with that though, I am gonna like decompress, relax, get ready for bed, do a face mask, do my affirmations because that is my one healthy habit for the day of the 100 days and get ready to go for my day tomorrow with the photo shoot. The whole reason I'm even out here, so, okay. Mm. Oh, there's something so cozy about climbing into a freshly made hotel bed. Um, I did my affirmations as needed for the challenge and now it's time to get that beauty sleep, so. I will see you in the morning. Good morning. Well, good morning. Mm. I slept so well last night. It helps that my body clock is three hours ahead. So I woke up at nine, but it feels like noon for me. So amazing. I need to be ready by one, so I have plenty of time. I am gonna go out and find some breakfast. I'm not really sure where, but I'm gonna find some breakfast. Then I'm going to come back and do a little bit of yoga in my hotel room to just like get my body moving for the day and then fully get ready for the shoot. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, so I am pretty much ready for the photo shoot. I got everything packed and away, but I need to pull what the healthy habit of the day is gonna be, so let's do that. Gratitude journal, 10 things that I am thankful for. So I'll have to wait to do that after the photo shoot, but this is what I will do today. Perfect. And away we go. so well i honestly cannot wait to see the photos from it i think it's gonna look so great but now i am back at the hotel i am just watching friends on the tv and i'm going to order some food and then a little bit later i'm going to actually meet a friend for drinks so i'm just gonna like recuperate a little bit and then i'll go out again but it's been a great day honestly this has been such a fun trip so far
finished journaling for, with a healthy habit for my day and now I'm gonna go to bed because <laughs> I'm tired but today was a great day great photo shoot loved getting drinks with my friend and I'm gonna go and have drag brunch with her in the morning so very excited for that but I now need my beauty sleep so, so, maybe you should come back. Alright, good morning. I woke up and washed my face. That's why it looks a little oily. I just put some face oil on. I slept in this morning. It was lovely. I am going to go meet my friend for drag brunch, as I mentioned last night. And I need to get ready, so I'm just, we're just gonna do that. Bang. Ready for brunch. such a great trip, but I am definitely ready to be back in New York. <laughs> 